Hey YouTubers, back home in New Jersey, the corruption trial of U.S. Senator Bob Menendez begins this week. And the senator is accused of doing a very high profile favors for a major campaign donor. And this case is so interesting, not because it's simply another politician being charged for being dirty or for being on the take, but because it raises a constitutional issue that the Supreme Court has dodged for the last 120 years at least. And that issue is, to what extent does the Constitution permit a sitting member of Congress to be prosecuted for a crime? And I know that those of you hearing it at first blush are thinking, well, if you or I are, are subject to criminal penalties and can be arrested, charged, and prosecuted, then why should a congressman or a senator be exempt or accepted from criminal prosecution? And the answer is more complicated. Yes, it's true that nobody's above the law. But no, it isn't true that the founders didn't anticipate to carve an exception for sitting members of Congress. And in part, the exception is, in, is contained in the speech and debate clause in Article I of the Constitution. And the entire purpose for the speech and debate clause was that members of England's parliament were very careful not to offend the monarch, the king. And as a result of their constant deference to the king, um, nothing was accomplished. In America, the framers sought to immunize congressmen and senators from acts that were um, related to their official duties. Now, the Supreme Court has never said how close an act, has, an act has to be related to their official duties for the congressman or senator to be immunized. Um, in the Menendez case, I disagree with a lot of people who say that the, the acts are just plain out stealing or plain out corruption. I think a very solid argument could be made that the acts that he's accused of committing are immunized by the speech and debate clause in Article I of the Constitution. Now, do I think that it's healthy for the country, for the Supreme Court not to hear the case? No. I think the case against Bob Menendez definitely serves as a starting point for the court to clarify the amount of immunity that senators and congressmen have under the speech and debate clause.